What's up, y'all? In this video, we are going to have a little discussion about Sesame or CCL brand brass body combination padlocks. CCL, as most of us know, are Corbin cabinet lock, but they actually haven't been owned by Corbin, which is an awesome abloy thing now. They were bought out a long time ago by Eberhard, which is a subsidiary of another company. Long story short, they have sold the CCL Sesame brand brass body padlocks for years and years happily to distributors who happily sell them to us, the retail locksmith, who in turn happily sell them to our customers who need a good quality brass body padlock. Well, we normally keep between like six and ten of the padlocks in at a time because we have so much other retail stock and people will come in and literally buy all we have. We just sold out the seven or eight of them that we had. Somebody came in and was like, if you had more, I would buy them. And we were like, oh, we don't, but we can call you when they come in. So, you know, about a week after that, I'm putting my order in through my distributors and I notice not in stock. And I also noticed the list price kind of climbing there. I was like, well, crud, that, okay, if that one's not in stock, this is a 5 16 shackle brass body combination padlock. The 437 is a two and a quarter inch shackle brass body padlock. Again, not in stock. But look at the list price. It goes up, funnily enough, to 60 something dollars. Now we'll go back over to our Google search and we see a bunch of different prices. Now there's a ton of websites that sell things online specifically just padlocks or specifically they just sell online and some of these prices still show normal pricing but in reference to actually having these in stock i was searching for something else recently not a padlock but i started going to some of these websites like this dk hardware some of these other ones that have on their website it's available it's available click order now so i called them because i've no better than to click order now and pay for something and have to wait for a refund or them just try to back order it like certain locksmith distributors do and then just don't tell you and you have to wait four to eight weeks to get something in if i need something i need it pretty dang quick so i called these companies again not a padlock but i said hey your website showing this product do you have it nope call after call after call nobody who showed it on their website including just googleable companies that sell to anybody and locksmith distributors who showed it on their website nobody actually had it in stock so I have a feeling that these companies may not actually have them you're asking yourself well jason why what are you bringing this up for? What's the point of this? Well, one of those websites we see here, the 436, the one inch shackle, $30. You go to their 437, which is just a two and a quarter shackle, same exact padlock. And look, it's a $70 padlock. I was like, so I logged into one of our actual locksmith distributor, or another distributor website, and I noticed the padlocks. The 437 padlock is... 75 something dollars so i called my distributor and i was like what's going on here what or i sent an email so i don't know i think i called and i was like what in the heck's going on here this has to be a mistake well word on the street and i'm not naming names but word on the street is that this company east lake or eberhard both jumped their prices up huge for certain things and made a minimum order for distributors so in other words the distributor may have to order a hundred of this padlock to get the price down to a manageable level not seventy dollars for for a 5 16 shackle seventy dollars is absolutely unreasonable for pretty much almost any padlock out there including a combination padlock and you might be going well whatever just buy another brand you know master brand we don't sell master except for a few padlocks that we just kind of have to keep in stock for convenience sake but there is a super sesame this has always been one of our pretty neat sellers and it's always good to have a big monster combination padlock nobody else in the u.s market 
makes a monster combination padlock of they just don't nobody makes them this was in my as far as i know this was pretty much the only one that's easily sourceable if you have a big gate with a big chain on it even though i don't recommend if you have like a hunting camp i don't recommend putting a combination padlock on there i would highly suggest a restrict some type of restricted key because if you give a combination to somebody they can give it to anybody else and the whole world can know so but this was only one of those but it, it, 142 dollars prior to 2020 the last one of these that we had in we were selling it for 65 dollars because we and we were making money on it now this online website and i'm showing this price because anybody can google it and find it this is just one of of many online websites who are actually showing an updated price i have a feeling because of this minimum order thing and because of these companies either a just have not updated their records or b have not reordered because they still have stock honestly it's not a huge fast mover in any market again we may have six to eight of those and every so often somebody will come in and want one but most of the time people come in and buy a bunch at a time but it may be three or four months so if, if i was a distributor level and this company said hey you have to buy 50 of these padlocks and i know i only sell three to five a month i'm not going to front that much money just to stock a product eberhard if you're watching this if, if for some reason crazy reason you, you're watching this please explain your you know you can you can email me and I'll, I'll do an update video can you please explain to us as a retail company who has customers that may enjoy having that padlock and have had good luck with them because again they're they're a pretty great padlock if you could explain to me why a padlock can go from $30 to $70 just because it has a longer shackle. That's unheard of in the locksmith world. You know, y'all have had these padlocks and sold these padlocks under your name forever. You should even know that that's a ridiculous kind of thing to do. Uh, and, and then again, people are like, well, just buy another brand. I'm not going to buy Master, Abus. A lot of locksmith distributors honestly don't carry a huge selection of Abus padlocks. When I say a huge selection, there was this one, the 436. There was the KO 436, a brass shackle. In case somebody wasn't worried about the shackle being cut, but they wanted the best weather resistance. Maybe they're on a boat in the middle of nowhere and they wanted the shackle. They wanted a, a very, you know, resistant to the weather padlock, the brass shackle version. There's a four inch shackle. There's the super sesames that... Again, monster padlocks, but $199 is a monster price for this monster padlock. And it's it's entirely unreasonable for this company to be doing this. Why am I telling you this? Why am I making a video on it? Because as other locksmiths who may have customers who you have sold Sesame padlocks in the past, what if that customer calls you and says, hey, I need, I need six uh, of that padlock that I bought last year. And, and you're like, well, they're $80 each now. And the customer's going to be like, what? What do you mean they're $80 each? They're, there were $30 padlocks last time I bought them. So you do need to know this. That's why I'm doing a video on it. Because even though you see these Google prices, I can almost guarantee you that at least half of these prices are not going to have them in stock. Or when they go and reorder, they're all of a sudden going to be like, oh, we need to update our pricing on our website. Because this apparently just happened at the beginning of this year. We're only into March. So I'm guessing that these are based on a lot of old prices from when before they could just order whatever they needed, which apparently is not the case now. And if distributors aren't stocking them, then that means the retail locksmiths aren't stocking them, which means the customers are going to have less of a chance to buy them. Just wanted y'all to know, if you have any questions or comments on this video, I can't answer why. If you're a distributor, you don't have to name yourself. Or if you're somebody that's in the know, feel free to post in the comments. Yep, raise prices, minimum order. We're not going to sell them anymore. That makes no sense to me. Unless you're just purposefully trying to stop making the padlocks because try as you may or try as you might nobody's gonna buy a 80 dollar padlock tonight just thought you should know
thanks for watching and we'll catch you next video.